here is how you can explore why daylight hours change throughout the seasons. We will be using the simulators from the University of Nebraska Lincoln Astronomy webpage. Scroll down to coordinates and motions. As an overview, we will start with the seasons simulator. The angle of the sun and the resulting flux will not be covered in this video. Rather, we will concentrate on the proportion of day side to night side at each latitude, which will give us the proportion of daylight hours and nighttime hours on that particular date. Remember that the sun lights up half of the earth, the side facing it. However, because the earth's axis is tilted relative to its plane of orbit, the two hemispheres north and south don't get equal amount of lighting depending on where the earth is in its orbit during the june solstice the northern hemisphere faces the sun and northern latitudes have higher proportions of sunlight versus nighttime. There are even latitudes way up north, known as the Arctic Circle, where for a period the sun doesn't set at all. On the same date, the reverse is true in the southern hemisphere. South of the equator, there is less daylight compared to nighttime at each latitude. There are even latitudes within the Antarctic Circle where for a period of time, the sun doesn't rise at all. During the September equinox, even though the Earth's axis is tilted, it is perpendicular to the direction of the sun, and hence, each hemisphere gets equal amount of sunlight. Exactly half of each latitude is in daylight and half of it is in nighttime. This is true for both northern and southern latitudes. Explore the simulation further during the December solstice and the March equinox. Here are some additional simulators relevant to this topic. The daylight simulator will show you the two-dimensional projection 
of the spherical Earth throughout the year whereby the exact latitudes receiving the most sunlight change with calendar date. Of course, the simulation is sped up over here, only showing day-to-day -day changes. If you want to see how the sunlit side actually gets lit from hour to hour, switch the animation mode. Again, Try to experiment with various dates and change your location as well. And the simulation will even calculate the total daylight hours for you. Make sure to compare northern latitudes with their equivalent southern latitudes on the same date. This calculation is even more streamlined for you with the Daylight Hours Explorer. Over here, you can choose your latitude and date of the year and it will automatically calculate the number of daylight hours for you. Explore at one latitude during the June and December solstices, the September and March equinoxes, and again compare with latitudes in the southern hemisphere. Of course, don't just stop at the raw memorization of number of daylight hours. Rather, think about the physical processes tying this cause to the effect of the seasons.